Hey, what's up, what's up, it's Mike Capri here, and welcome back to another episode of Taskcraft SMP. So currently we're here in our strip mining area that I've built off gun. Well, it looks pretty neat, right? And yes, we always want to have nice things, and nice things come with a price, but I guess it's worth it, right? And somehow for its function, I guess it's alright? Somehow? Well, yes. So as you can see, I already have started strip mining here because for today's episode, we are going to need a bunch of stones and we are going to make progress in our first tower here in the Siberian city. And that's why we have these stones, which I gathered here in the strip mining area. Well, I'm not totally aiming for the diamonds and other stuff, but I did this strip mining because of the stones. Well, we also get those good stuff, right? Well, like I said from the last episode, the next thing that we have to build for this episode is our stone factory, which is going going to be at the same uh, redstone contraption that we have built in the new Hyperion city with some minor changes and updates because along the way we always learn new things right so well for this episode it's not going to be intensive on building we are only going to focus on building the stone factory and somehow we call it the stone generator but our design again it will produce both smooth stones and cobblestones which is pretty much gonna work the same and we are also going to use TNT that's why we have built this creeper farm over here first uh, we have planned to build it in the mid air because you want the gun powder to be accessible to the uh, TNT dispenser which is going to be on the top of the stone factory that we are going to build for this episode and of course I already have read it the redstone part that we are going to use for this build so somehow this episode is gonna gonna be uh, some sort of like a tutorial because I also want to share with the guys on how we built this because for me like I always said this is one of the most useful farm that I always use in the let's play series so let's check first our supplies of gunpowder well it's not yet much well it's not totally efficient yet because I haven't cleared up the caves I haven't lighted them up yet so well, going to the location of our, for today's build, of course, we are going to build below here. Well, starting against off, uh, we are going to have two levels for the stone factory. And of course, before we start a build, of course, this is not on the creative world. So we definitely, we have to place a flooring first because, well, just to make our job easier, right? But anyways, I'm going to build the floor and I'll be back. So ready to do the flooring or the platform for our stone factory and as well as the platforms where we are going to build the stone generators. So basically, we are going to build two stone generators on each side that will push the stones to the center to blast them with TNT. So this is a 5x8. We actually need 5x9, but we are just going to adjust a little so we can already start working now. So here are the stuff that we are going to need at least for the rest of parts so here as follows so 56 regular pistons four sticky pistons 22 repeaters one comparator four hoppers uh, two observers 28 obsidians a dispenser and a lever and some redstone dust of course and three redstone blocks so this is for the redstone part but we are also going to need uh, 14 buckets of lava for the cobblestone generators and as well as uh, buckets of water so basically we are also going to need 14 but we are just going to place some water source here so let's start working here so let's grab the stuff that we are going to need some hoppers and as well as comparators some repeaters and some redstone dust and of course uh, we also gonna need the obsidian for now so let's work on this side right over here so uh, basically we are just going to work on one side i'm just going to show you one side and uh, you just need to mirror the other side so let's place our redstone clock right over here so basically just two hoppers facing with each other so the item will just go back and forth so this is a very simple uh, redstone clock that will just you know turn on and off the redstone signal so let's place a block right over here and we have to place a lever i guess i forgot the lever so i'll just put here later and uh, the next thing that we have to place is a comparator connecting to that uh hoppers uh, i need the comparator okay <laughs> so uh let's place a comparator right over here and a redstone dust right over here and in order to extend the signal we have to place two repeaters on opposite sides so one side for that cobblestone generator over there and on this side as well so let's extend this redstone signal or let's connect this uh, redstone clock to our stone generator so i guess we have to extend now the uh, redstone signal so we have just placed a redstone uh, sorry uh, a repeater so yes so basically this is the back side of the stone generator and the next thing that we have to place are the repeaters on this side so basically we have to place seven uh 
seven repeaters so basically it will generate seven by one uh cobble pile of cobblestones going up and it will push three by seven cobblestones and now let's place the obsidian so the obsidians will just basically serve as a safeguard for our pistol not to be pushed down just in case this contraption will be jammed so it's basically it's uh any immovable object will do though <laughs> but basically we have used obsidian so uh let's grab the lever and as well as the regular piston so, we, so basically we have to place the uh, lever over here on the top of this uh, hopper right over here where the comparator is so at least uh, we can stay these sticky pistons while it, it turn off up or active so at least it can separate the water and the lava that we are going to place here so of course if this has to be off the lava and the water has to be separated right so well this should work now so on this side we have the water and on this side on the outer side we are going to have the lava so well i guess this should work now well checking things out well yes so let's put an item right over here so this will start working just one item I said just one item <laughs> yeah so as you can see this is working now uh there's a on and off signal that will push and pull these pistons right over here in order to separate and conjoin the water and the lava to generate the cobblestone that we are going to need of course for the stone factory right <laughs> so let's turn this off so if this off uh, the piston should be active or should be pushed upwards so we have to separate the lava in the in the water source so basically yeah so this is done for the meantime we, the next thing that we have to place are the lava and the water so i'm going to mirror this uh part on the other side and i'll be back so now we have done for both sides and remember that it has to be mirrored so the generated stone will be pushed to the center so now it's time to place the water on this side right over here of course on the other side it's going to be the lava on the outer part right over there so let's place some uh, cobblestone temporary cobblestones on the top of these sticky pistons or regular pistons rather <laughs> uh, to contain the water of course you also have to put some blocks on the sides in order to contain this water on this side right over here but first let's place a one level block on this part right over here and of course you have to contain this so basically the water should be uh, three block high by one so the water will just flow down and not into our lava or else it will turn into an obsidian or stone so well we have to make sure first that the lo the water sorry will be contained in this part over here on this side and also let's enclose on this side right over here of course and those gorgeous are making some noise again though <laughs> well i actually really got used to it though but anyway so let's place the water so i'm trying uh, i want to try to if we can uh, if we can make a source blocks in the center right over here but i'm not sure though so let's test this out so yeah so it's not working so well <laughs> so i guess we have to make a temporary water source in the floor but I guess this is fine well i'll just be back because we're actually surrounded by water anyways <laughs> and now we have made sure that the top layer are all water sources blocks and all the bottom part are just flowing waters so now it's time to place the lava on this side right over here so basically it has to be parallel to these pistons uh so it will have enough space well we only just need uh, one black high for this lava of course you have to contain it uh all around and also with the top part as well also on this side right over here we have to make it two block wide so at least we can contain it right <laughs> but anyway so while doing this i guess it's now time to talk about the plans here in the cyberperian city of course you have to finish first this stone factory and after this we have to work on the exteriors of this building of course this is go this is gonna be the first uh skyscraper here in the cyberperian city so let's now grab these lava buckets or lava and place this uh in this part right over here so basically we have to make sure that all of them are lava sources or else it will have a little problem soon though so yes so uh basically after this uh we are going to start working on the platform of course this is going to be a huge city well i don't have any idea yet but what i have declared is that we are going to make a shape of like a fidget spinner with three 
arms, you know, something like going on different directions. And yeah, I guess we had a problem here though. I guess I have doubled a water source. Uh, sorry, a lava source right over here. And anyway, so let's grab another lava source from our shulker right over there. Uh, okay, so talking about the plants right over here. So after this, we have to start doing the layout and the platform. Basically, we're going to start with the roads uh, on these directions right over here. So we are going to extend to those directions. So, well, that's the basically the plants for now. I'm not sure where is the lava source. Yeah, I think I got it right. But anyway, so <laughs> so now it's time to cover this. So so far, those are the plans for the Cyber Prion City. So basically, I just need to copy this on the other side, and I'll be back. And now we're done for both sides for the lava and the water placement. So now it's time to place the pistons that will push all of the cobblestones to the center to be ready for blasting with TNT. So basically, we have to make uh, three by seven pistons uh, on this side right over here well i already have tried to make it four but a lot of uh you know cobblestone was not blasted so most of the time it gets jammed so that's why it has only to be uh three by seven so yeah so well these pistons will just push all of the cobblestones to the center to be blasted like i said well yeah so now it's time to place the redstone dust on this line right over here so basically we need to power these pistons that will be triggered using observers on the front side so basically once the cobblestones have reached the top part it will trigger all of these pistons on this side so we also need to power on the top uh you know pistons right over here so let's place another line of redstone dust on this part right over here so well at least for the piston part we're done so now it's time to place the observer and as well as a monostable circuit that will trigger these pistons in order to push the cobblestones towards the center so we have to place the observer facing that direction so it has to be uh, placed uh, we have to go down one block so it has to be on this direction so the rest of signal is on this side and the detection is on the other side so yeah so let's first make a platform on this side right over here for the monostable circuit so basically we need to place a three by three platform on this part right over here well this can be in any sides of this piston so basically we just need to remove uh one block right over here so it's still three by three though <laughs> but anyway so first let's grab our sticky pistons uh, uh we have to connect this sticky piston on our observer and a redstone block uh, that will push on this side right over here so we have to uh, this will trigger this repeater on this side right over here and we have to convert this into a one short tick using a monostable circuit on this side using a block with the sticky piston. We have to set this to uh, two ticks and another repeater on this side right over here so at least it can transmit the redstone signals to these pistons right over here. Of course, you have to connect these redstone dust through these uh, monostable circuits. So this place over here and we also need to uh, split this redstone signal into two on the top part as well of course you have to distribute that cell on the top part and basically well i guess this is done now so let's give it a test so let's put a block right over here and eventually it will push that block over there eventually well when the scoble stones have reached this level over here it will push the three by seven forward to the center so that's the time we'll the blasting will start and yes so i have to do as well on the other side that we like we always do right <laughs> but anyways i'll be back so we're done for both sides except i forgot to mention about those obsidians so basically those obsidians on the top of those pistols will serve as safeguards uh, just like what we have done in the bottom part so these obsidians will stop the pistons from working just in case the uh, this contraption jammed or just in case it had a problem so it will start stop producing more cobblestones in this you know contraption right <laughs> and i also forgot about these uh one obsidian so we have to add one obsidian in the list of items that we need so basically we have to place this obsidian in the center right over here this is where the 
TNT will land before it blasts. So at least we can uh, put or place the TNT in the middle right over there in order to blast the cobblestones that we have to harvest from these generators, right? So now it's time to place the TNT dispensers on the top of this stone factory or redstone contraption. So basically we have to go up here <laughs> so yeah so basically these tnt this uh, uh dispenser have to be triggered as well together with these cobblestones once it's pushed to the center so basically it will be triggered by the observer we have placed here so let's put a repeater right over here just to make sure that the redstone signal is enough to make it to the center well i guess it's still enough though but we still <laughs> but we are going to put another repeater there anyway if we haven't put it there so well we have to put at least four three to four blocks high so let's make it four from the top of the obsidian just to make sure well it doesn't really matter for as long as it's more than a tree well not too high though so yeah but we have to make sure that this hole right over here is going to be the center so it will land directly to that obsidian in the bottom part right over there so let's remove this block right over here. So basically, this is where the, the TNT will be dropped and we have to place this redstone block right over here. So this is going to be the igniter of the TNT and we are going to place the dispenser on this part right over here. But uh, we have to face it in that direction though. <laughs> I shouldn't have removed this block right away here so yeah so let's place a dispenser well not this direction we have to face it uh, this way right over here and yes so just like this one and re let's remove that block right over there so it basically once it dispenses on tnt it will just ignite be ignited by that redstone block right over there so now it's, it's just all we need to do is just uh, uh, connect this dispenser to this uh, redstone line right over here where the monostable circuit and the observer is connected so basically that will drop the tnt on that obsidian right over there so basically now i think the last thing that we need to do is the basin or the catch basin on this part right over here well this is going to be a huge block placing so basically we have to place a platform right over here on this bottom part right over here and i'll be back well, we had a bit of a problem though because the basin should be on this level, but this is only two blocks high, so we don't have enough roof on this bottom part right over here. So I guess what I need to do is adjust this flooring right over here, which is gonna be a tedious task to do though. Of course, we also need to move the elevator down. I guess we have to move down uh, three more blocks lower i guess <laughs> i guess that's fine well we have to do this anyway but anyways i'll be back again well now i guess we have enough space here in the bottom part well i guess it's too much though <laughs> but anyways so uh now it's time to place some water on our cash basin so basically uh of course the water will just push those cobblestones or blasted cobblestones to on each side of course like what we have said we are going to produce uh, cobblestones and smooth stones so one side for the smooth stones which are uh, going to uh to some furnaces in order to turn them into smooth stones and once on the other side is going to be just cobblestones so basically they will just go directly to the storage chest so well basic logic right but anyway so let's put the water sources in the middle so it will divide those cobblestones or those blasted cobblestones into two sides so well yes so, well i think one difference that i have done here is that i instead of putting the hoppers in the corners which what i have done in the new hyperion city i for this time uh i have actually placed it in the middle so at least we can actually save some spaces so basically yes so we're done here so i placed the hopper here in the middle so at least we will not have two levels of these gutters on this side right over here so at least uh it will just go to the center instead of like going to the corner because if that's the case you have to lower down another gutter in order to make those water i mean in order to flow those items to the corner right so basically this is just a space saver technique i guess <laughs> well yes yeah, so now we're done with the water placement in this cache basis so 
I guess we're ready for doing the testing except for the blasting part though. At least for the generation, uh, we can already test these uh, stone generators. Well, I have to go on this other side right over here because I couldn't fit in that part of the way there. So, <laughs> yeah, so let's flick the lever and let's test this out. So, yes, just to show you guys. And also, we have to at least push some cobblestones in the center so at least we cannot waste some TNTs once we have placed, you know, some TNTs in our dispenser. So, yeah, let's uh watch this basically <laughs> well nothing else to do so as you can see those cobblestones has been generated push up and uh, once it's compiled it will be pushed to the center so at least it will be ready for blasting so well it's also good that we have already triggered this so at least we cannot waste any tnt because we have to make those uh i mean these cobblestones into the center in order to blast them right but anyways I'll be back for the storage system. So we already have placed a smeltery on this side right over here. So basically all of the cobblestones stones that will go on this side will turn into smooth stones. So basically just basic uh, stone smelting. And on this side right over here, of course, we just need some cobblestones. So that's why we have this good old storage system. So we're done here on the bottom part. So at least there is something that we can store our stuff coming from the stone factory right over here and now i guess you have to test this fully including the blasting operations well yes so finger cross uh fingers crossed i mean not just one finger so <laughs> i hope this works well all right so let's go up here so basically after this uh, i'm also going to cover this up. well i'm going to do that off cam but of course I definitely i'll be back and i'm going to show that later so yeah so like i said this episode is going to be mainly for the stone factory so i guess i have recorded enough and said a lot about this stone factory but anyway so let's trigger this and figure cross i hope nothing will be damaged <laughs> but i know this will work well like i always expect right so as you can see those these those tnt were being dispensed and were being ignited by that uh redstone block right over there so this is working properly now so now it's time to cover this and decorate this place somehow well not fully though of course that will be for the next episode but anyways i'm going to cover this place and make it safer and i'll be back well this looks really familiar right it looks really the same of what we have in the new hyperion city except that it's more sci-fi-ish i guess <laughs> well i also have done the layout on this building right over here but of course this is going to be for the next episode we are going to decorate or finish this building finally and i'm really excited about it because this is the first time that i'm going to make something modern right and i also have done this tnt room right over here of course uh, we only have a few tnts and i also have placed the chest right over there just in case we all have more tnts in the future right so basically you just need to check this out from afar i believe so although this is not the final look for this building and i thought that we are not gonna fly though but anyway so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so far here's how it looks like well this this is already look i mean this already looks like uh cyber park already no not maybe <laughs> well somehow this is really tall building well of course uh this is not the only tall building that we are going to have here in the new hyperion city but this looks pretty awesome now right uh, well we haven't done the actual uh you know design for this building yet but of course i promise you guys it's gonna be awesome because that's my goal that's what i wanted to have for this city everything nice that comes with the price of course it's gonna be really expensive especially with the scales <laughs> i mean with the scale of this uh, build right over here we are going to use a lot of resources but of course of course that is going to be for the next episode so you have to watch for it guys but anyway so this is the only time i got for this episode so thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a comment please leave a like and make sure to subscribe this has been my and i'll see you guys next time